Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 1, and it reads, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them, be, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imagination against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled. First and foremost, I want, to give, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. But guys, what people are here for, but you see the headline. Read it for yourself. It's the Lord bringing it all. Now, is He using man to perform His deeds? Yeah. But who's behind, who's the mastermind behind it all? See, see, the Bible been telling you for years. See, the Lord had his service on the highways and byways, prophesying, telling you what's going to happen before it even happened. But, but oh yeah, everything was a game. For you Nick Rose, Latinos, and Native Americans, everything was a game. Everything was a joke. You, you said we look funny. We got on skirts. We got on dress. We got on bed sheets. But now look. But but now look, everything we've been saying according to the Bible is it not coming to pass or what? But we're gonna read. You see the headlines? I ain't gotta read it. You can read. You can read. Second Ezra fifteen and one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Go tell these Negroes, Latino, the whole world. But it's but it says go tell my people, Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans. The Heavenly Father sent forth His service. To tell you what's going to happen before it even happened. No excuses at all. You get caught up in it. Oh, well. That's why the scriptures plainly and clearly tells us to pray. Watch as well as pray that we may be accounted worthy to escape all these things. Prophecy is speaking, man. Prophecy is speaking loud and clear. Which I will put in that mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper for their faith and the truth. So regardless of if people believe what we're saying or not. It's still faithful and true. You're not look. So what if some didn't believe? No, look, don't get scared now. You rebellious so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Look, don't get scared now. Don't get worried now. Look, look, continue to live your best life. Continue to live a careless life. Live your best life. Remember, you ain't going back and forth with these ninjas. You're living your best life, right? Well, live your best life now. You see? You see? And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imagination against thee. Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity mean an unbelief of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So just because you don't believe what the Bible is saying that we're reading, we don't let that trouble us, man. All right? Because we see, it says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. So the simple of our people are being punished, man, with these different plagues, these storms, the famine, everything that the scriptures get ready to say, we say, Behold, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh I will bring plagues upon the world. You see it on the screen. You see it on the screen. I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine. Death and destruction, man. You, you talking about bad? You talking what? You talking about say it's getting bad? What? You ain't seen bad yet. You ain't seen bad yet. The Israelites that didn't turn back and repent, you ain't seen bad yet, man. And you gonna have you gonna have no help in you know, all these situations. This look, remember the, the day of the Lord is like a, a lion chasing you. And you get away from the lion, then a bear start chasing you. Then you get away from the bear, run into a safe little dwelling or whatever, and then a serpent bites you, man. The day of the Lord is darkness, not light, very gloominess, and no brightness in it. What it say? Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. So, uh, 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 the four corners of the earth, okay? The four corners of the earth, the Lord says he's going to bring these things upon them. Ain't nowhere to run, ain't nowhere to hide, man, all right? Well, look, don't get scared now. Don't get scared now, man. All right? Sword, famine, death, and destruction for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And the hurtful works are fulfilled. Let's jump down. 
I just want to jump down right quick. Let's see. Um, let's just jump down. Second Ezra chapter 15. I just want to hit some points. It's 27. Second Ezra 15, 27. For now all the plagues come upon the whole earth. You, are you not seeing this? Are you Israelites? Are you not seeing what's happening? You see? No, you too, you too blind and caught up in the cage. You too blind. You're it's summertime, right? Right? It, it's summertime. You just got paid. And that's the only thing you worried about. But look, you, you better be worried about more than that. For now all the players come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them. For Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall not deliver you. Because you have sinned against him. So once these players start really ramping up and it comes upon you, you Israelites, no matter where you at, throughout the four corners of the earth, the Lord said, I'm going to leave you there. I'm going to leave you there. You're going to be stuck like Chuck, man. You're going to be stuck like Chuck. And you have been warned. Remember, the Lord said, Get, repent. Repent. But that's, that's too much though, right? That's too much, right? Repent and the phone chimed in. Repent it's too much for a ninja, ain't it? Let's get this, man. What, what is it? Ezekiel 7. Quick little lesson. You see it. You see it. I ain't even got to read the heading. You see it on the screen. You see it. That's what I might call this video. You see it. Second, um, so it's like an Ezekiel 7. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 5. And it reads, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, who they even call God and Jesus. In evil, meaning bad times. And only evil, meaning evil. Meaning bad times. And only evil, behold, it's come. I ain't got to read the caption. We're living in some deadly, serious, bad times, man. And you're going to get caught up in it. At least you repent. Thus said the Lord. Look, I'm not saying I'm just reading it. All right? I'm just reading what the Bible and everything that I'm reading coming straight out of the Bible. But the pastor told you it's all love. Well, I thought the God of the Bible said it was all love. Huh? Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. An end is come. An end of this age. An end is come. Look, how the end of this age, this, this end of this age, this world sleeps and eats rulership, how is it going to go out? By way of destruction, by way of evils. Nothing but bad times is coming upon it, man. Every time you turn around, it's going to be something coming your way. You see? And the Lord said he's going to leave you there. And look, look, it watching for thee. Behold, it is coming. All right? And this is just a quick little hit through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai, right? Just a quick little hit. This is Joel. Joel chapter 1. Let's see. Um, Joel chapter 1 verse 15. Alas for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand. And as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. You see, as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. You, you, you ask for it too. You ask, for it, you ask for this shit. Everything coming your way. You, you, every video that the prophets did, you ignored every video that the prophets did. But oh yeah, Lord have mercy on you though, right? Are you serious? Let, let it all make sense. Let it all make sense. Isaiah 45. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil, meaning the bad times is the Lord creating it all, right? I, the Lord, and does he work through men? Of course. Of course. The Lord got men on earth doing his bidding, his man's goings of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own ways? That's, that's the Proverbs. I think, what is it, Proverbs 24 and 20? Or either Proverbs 20 and 24? It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, do all these things. All right? The, the Lord is doing it all, man. No, what, what else, Lord? What else, Lord? Because I'm because I'm about to wrap it up. Like I said before, just just a quick one. Just a quick. Remember, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. You despise wisdom. You despise instruction. What the Lord said, Lord, I'm not trying to hear you. You see, when curious when you when you when curious George comes visit you, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Jeremiah chapter chapter eleven. Don't, don't you worry about it. You good. Jeremiah chapter eleven verse eleven. Thus said the Lord, Behold. I will bring evil, meaning bad times. Here we go again. The Lord, look, 
Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, meaning these bad times, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. And look, and you, and you heard it first, coming straight out of the Bible. Coming straight out of the Bible. So let's go back to Second Ezra, the 15th chapter. I want to go back there. I want to go back there right quick. Let's just go back there. I want to hit a verse. Second Ezra, chapter 15. You thought 2020 was bad. You ain't seen shit yet. Second Ezra, 15. You ain't seen nothing yet, man. Second Ezra, chapter 15. Verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able because they're going to lock it down. They're going to lock it down, Israel. Look, that grace period is running out, man. All right? The doors of mercy are fastly but surely closing. And you ain't got to believe. Just keep playing around. All right? And the Lord going to have it to where if you do know this, his servants, you you know where they stay or you got their phone numbers. Shit, when you call the damn phone, gonna say, um uh, it's gonna it's gonna go, it's gonna get to the point to where your call ain't gonna go through. All right? You should have took heed. You see? Cause brothers is teaching this word. We got um pops, moms, brothers, sisters, cousins, aunts, aunties, things of that nature. Ain't nobody taking heed. But they're going to wish they did. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, man. You see, you better watch them all in them um, end time movies like World War Z and you see The Rogue and The Book of Eli. All tall tale signs of what happens when, they, when they, um, pretty much a government crashes. You know what I'm saying? When a government crashes, how lawless it is. You see, look, look, every man for himself, doggy, doggy world. The Lord said he's going to leave you in it. Let's, I got one more after this, and I'm going to wrap it up. Second Ezra, the 14th chapter. And you, can read the, you can read the headline yourself. Second Ezra, chapter 14, verse 16. For yet greater evils, meaning bad times, than those which thou hast seen. You people are going to be crying for 2020. You people are going to be crying for 2019. You people are going to be crying for 2018. So far for so on. You see? You're going to be crying. You ain't seen nothing yet. Man, you ain't seen nothing yet for you, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. So you're going to have plagues, storms, chaos, animals attacking. You name it, lightning striking. You see? Come on, man. Just a combination of things. None but bad times, man. All right? Violence and an alarming rate is going down, man. It says, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done thereafter. For look how much more the world shall be weaker through age. So much the more shall evils, meaning bad times, increase upon them that dwell therein. You see? And look, you have look, another warning. Another, another warning session. Let's get this last one. Let's get this last one, St. Luke. Let's see. St. Luke chapter 21. I'm just go straight to the point. St. Luke chapter 21. And uh, let's see. St. Luke 21, 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always. We got to be watching. We got to be praying. We're watchmen, right? We got to be watching. We got to be praying always. That we may be a, that we may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, escape all the things that shall, not might, not I think about it. Give me a second. No, all the things that shall come to pass. Right? You can't stop the inevitable, man. The Lord said these things must come to pass. So we want to be counted worthy, Lord willing, to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. You see it. Shalom.